<sighs> I remember when I first ever walked into a barbershop. I wanted to try it out. I was already working for myself for already a year. And some barbershop owner messaged me and said, yo, you should come down to the shop. And just, so I just wanted to try it out. When I got in there, I walked in, I saw five other barbers. I walked in, I set up my station and everyone just looking at me like, who's this newbie? A client walks in and he says, who's available? I said, come, come take a seat in my chair, bro. He sits down and he actually had really nice hair to cut. I pull out my phone and I start recording. During this time, I was trying to build up my clientele. So I wanted to just record and get my work out there. So much that I even bought like a lighting setup. I even bought my own like, you know, lighting setup. Everyone's just looking at me like, who is this guy? Like, you know what I mean? I just got weird looks. I was like, okay, whatever. I was too busy just recording anyways. I didn't care. And from being there, Every single barber looked at me and they said, what you doing? And I said, I'm recording content. Like, do you guys record content? And they, they told me, ah, nah, bro. I just cut eight heads a day and I just go on my day. Straight away, like recording content and trying to grow your personal brand and trying to market yourself was already foreign in the shop. And I could feel it in the air, like this atmosphere of like comfortability. They didn't want more. And I felt like I was like black goose in the room. Like this kid putting out a phone with his lighting. It felt foreign for everyone. And that's one problem that barbers have. Comfortability. Straight away, you can really feel it in the room that they didn't want to grow. They didn't want more. People that get into barbering, they get into it because it has a low entry point. Like the barrier to get into the industry and start, you know, cutting hair is very easy, right? Because there's a lot of setup, don't need that much capital involved. You just, you know, cut your friends and you can make very good money off it. Like you make more than the average wage of, you know, society. But that's where it stops. Barbers get very comfortable. Once they start, you know, making a certain amount that is like surpassing above average, that's where it ends. There's no more fire. There's no more like growth mindedness. There's no room for to push more because they're just so like content and happy with just the amount of money that they're making. So when I was in that barbershop, I instantly realized that the standards are a lot lower. No one wanted to market. No one wanted to upskill their haircuts. No one wanted to upskill their professionalism, their service. So instantly, with no arrogance at all, I realized that, you know, I'm the one that wants it the most in here. So when you start realizing that, you think you're at the top, right? Just from your environment. So that's what it pushed me to go out on myself. I literally spent one day at the barbershop working there and I never returned again because I was the one that's the highest in the room with no ego, with no arrogance, that I'm not trying to say this to boast, but you should not be the highest in the room. That tells you that there's no more like levels to climb. So I ventured on myself. I built my own private studio. That's where I felt like I'm the controller of my limit. You know, I'm the controller of my standards in being by myself. So if I could just go back and, you know, give the advice that I would give to myself when I was starting this journey is that have no limits. You create your own standard. You have to be mindful of the standards your environment has. Are you by yourself at the moment? Are you watching right now? Like, are you working for someone else? Are you in a barber shop? Or are you working you know, in a private suite by yourself? And what standards do you have? Because those standards ultimately control how comfortable and how much growth you get. I remember it was like my first time ever recording. I pulled out the camera and I was like, man, I just know I have to start putting out content. But I was just so like scared. There was so, so much fear into like putting out the camera because the awkwardness in the room, you know, people looking at me, even the client being like, you know, oh, like I'm like having secondhand embarrassment for my client. And I'm pulling out the phone and I'm just like having a million thoughts at once. I'm sweating balls. I'm like nervous. I'm literally like saying sorry to the client because I took so long to cut his hair whilst recording. And 
it probably took me like an hour and a half, two hours, just by trying to get the cut right and recording. And when barbers go through that, it's, it's very uncomfortable. That's where they stop. They stop there because man, this is too hard. Literally all this fear was built up in my head. Now looking back at it, it never existed. It was like literally never real. I built that, I like fed that fear in my head. So when you're starting something that, you know, you want to create changing, you want to build something, you want to grow something, you want to start doing something, you got to understand that there's stages. And if you push through those stages of that fear, you will complete it. So let me show you what I mean by these stages that I'm talking about, okay? So we have a graph. We have one axis going like this, then we have another axis going this way. And on this graph, you'll be able to see that we have positive feelings and we have negative feelings, okay? So that's mood. Now, this is time. So this is the stages of change and the stages of change look something like this. Boom. First stage that you're gonna come across when you're starting anything. When I started my barbering career, this is what I went through. And a lot of you guys have gone through this, but you probably don't have any conscious of it. So first, you're going to start off right here. Here you're going to have uninformed optimism right and this is when you're like ready to start you're motivated you're really keen on getting into it but for example barbing you're you realize how much money you can make you want to start you know recording content you want to put it out there you want to cut your friends bless your friends give confidence talk and build you know the barbering journey and just start your business even right you have uninformed optimism then once you like start doing everything and you get into your cut you start realizing that like, oh my, this is hard. This is like recording content's hard. Taking care of clients is hard. Managing your schedule is hard. Building a business is hard. Marketing, getting people to come in your chair is hard. So you have, you come down here and you have informed pessimism, right? Meaning that you realize like how hard it is. And then you start be to become pessimistic. You start to become like realizing how hard it is and you see the problems and you see the limitations that this come, right? So when you get there, you actually come down all the way to here and you have a crisis of meaning. And during this stage, you're like, oh my goodness, this is so hard. Like there's so much friction to you starting something. You're like, oh my goodness, I can't do this and you start to doubt yourself and maybe even people tell you that like, why are you doing this? So it adds towards that crisis of meaning. And you know what happens? 80 to 90% of people, they come here and they crash and burn. They crash and burn. You see that? They crash and burn coming down like here. They realize how hard it is so they go in this rut. They feel like they, can't get out and they're just gonna stay the same and they're like, they get unmotivated, like they don't wanna do it anymore, right? So you literally go in this like little rut over here, right? See this, this is a poo. <laughs> this here is where 90 and 80% of people end up. But if you realize that this is a part of the process, right? All this here, all this right here is a part of the process. And if you want to separate yourself and become the 20 to 10% of people that start this career and become the best, you will push like this. And if you just have repetitions, right? You can call it practice, you can, but if you get the reps in, you'll be able to thug it out during this process right here. It could take time. It could take a month, two months. It could take longer, it could take shorter. But if you thug it out, you will get to this area right here. This is, informed optimism, right? You start to realize that, okay, I know what I'm doing now, okay? Because you got the reps in, you've done it so many times, you get informed. Now you have optimism where you like, you know the steps, you know like what to do now. That becomes optimism and you start to feel a lot more reassured. So when you have that, you come up to here, bang, 
and you have achievement. This is basically the stages of change. This is where the stages of growth is. You have five stages, right? These stages right here, bang, bang, bang. Those right there is crucial towards growth. It's crucial towards achieving something because you need this, right, to happen before you can get this nice, smooth uphill right there. So literally learning this, I just dug it out. Like I just, it just happened. But when I really saw this, it allows you to see the, the graph on a big broad scale to see what is like the overview. And all you need to understand is you will go through that crisis of meaning. You will go through that rut, that fear towards change. The way you tackle it and you know, get through it is understanding that you gotta run towards fear one more time, one more time, and one more time. Running towards that repetition, running towards that practice, right? To get up that, whether it's recording content, whether it's starting your business, whether it's marketing, whether it's like doing something new that is like scary, even starting a new habit. Literally every field, every single thing, you're going to come up against comfortability. Some type of thing that has a level of fear towards it. But you just gotta get the reps in and understand that that crisis of meaning, that rut that you're gonna go through is so necessary. So just get the reps in and you will be able to surpass 90% of barbers, 90% of entrepreneurs. Like to be honest, I felt like this type of resistance, that fear when recording this video. Heck, this is my first time doing something like this. So, you know, I have a, some sense of level of fear towards doing it. But I pushed that and knew that if I kept doing this and get the reps in, I will be able to get through, you know, the process and get to its completion. That's why you're gonna be able to see on my YouTube, if you've seen this however long, you will see that I'm gonna be posting, right? Consistently, and that's the reps. So, get your reps in, run towards fear. Yeah. It's been your boy.